Hello, welcome to my channel, Tuka Cooks. I'm Adela. Today, it's a rainy day and it's raining cats and dogs. So what better than to have a nice comforting uh, stew um, to kind of warm up the body and feel comfortable and nice while it's so miserable outside. So we're going to make a Puerto Rican chicken stew. And this is the way I make it and I kind of um, came up with my own recipe. So stay tuned and let's make this Puerto Rican chicken stew and you'll find out how it turns out. So here we have about a pound and a half of chicken and you can use chicken breast, chicken drumsticks, chicken thighs. Um, I'm using chicken thighs for today's recipe. I have a can of tomato sauce, I have some carrots, some peas, some potatoes, sofrito, some diced ham, some uh, chicken stock, salt and pepper, olive oil, uh, oregano, and an envelope of sazon. So these are all the ingredients and let's get started. So I got my pressure cooker on saute mode and I'm going to it's preheated, so I'm going to add some olive oil and I'm going to be cooking my diced chicken um, thighs. So we're just, we're not going to be stirring it, we're just going to leave it there so that it gets uh, brown on both sides. Just stir it once and then we'll take them out. So the chicken has been sautéing for about four minutes and since they're small pieces all I wanted really is to get um, a uh, brown color on it not necessarily cook them so if you have bigger pieces uh, you just you don't want to cook them through you just want a little color on it and that's it. So now I'm gonna take it out and move to the next step. So the chicken is out and now I'm going to add the ham. Same thing, we just want it to get a little toasty. This is another way you can use up your leftover ham. What I do is I cut it in these cubes. I put it in a, a vacuum bag and I freeze it. And then when I make like this recipe, I already have it all diced and ready to go. All right, so now I'm gonna add the sofrito. And this is my homemade sofrito recipe that I made a video. So if you're interested, you can uh, look for it. I'll link it in the description box. And basically it's uh, onion, garlic, bell pepper, and cilantro. So this is going to be cooking here for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to add the tomato sauce. So now I'm going to add some of the tomato sauce. Normally I make a uh, bigger recipe and then I use a whole can of tomatoes but this recipe is a small batch so I'm not going to use the entire can so about half of it but I will leave the uh, exact amount in the description box so that you can go you can follow that now we're just going to let it simmer for a little bit So it's been simmering about two minutes 
and now I'm going to add the chicken broth. I'm going to give it a stir. I'm going to add the carrots. the potatoes I'm gonna add the chicken back into it sure you use all the juices that the chicken released while it was sitting that's all flavor all right so finally I'm gonna add the peas give it a stir Gonna add some oregano, about a teaspoon, and the envelope of sasan, which is optional, but it does add flavor. Give it a stir. Um, other times I use gandules instead of the peas, but if you don't have any on hand or if you can find them, you can totally substitute them with green peas, so not a problem. I'm gonna give it a little cracked, fresh cracked pepper. And this is ready to go. So now I'm gonna pressure cook it for about 40 minutes and we'll be back. The pressure cooker is done and let's have a look. And there it is, it's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and plate it. I cooked some white rice and let's plate it. And here we have it plated. Chicken, um, Puerto Rican chicken stew on white rice and it smells delicious. It really smells good. It's phenomenal. I hope you try this recipe. It's really good. Uh, it's hearty and especially like today on a rainy day it's just very comforting so i hope you try it give me a like subscribe share and thank you for watching and i'll see you later